fuel pump is going to throw up pressure. Doesn't she look beautiful? <laughs> Just looking at this car out of the garage, it's such a wonderful feeling, guys. To It's been a long time that I've been on this process of doing all the work myself, learning, researching, and doing all this. So it's really rewarding to see this car out of the garage. And even though I'm not done just seeing it running, and it, honestly, it runs really, really good. I'll show you a clip of me driving this car. I got my check engine light. Forgot to tell you guys about that. I'm guessing that's the car, the O2 sensors reading way too much fuel. I have not put the computer, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, as you can see, the car runs good. Give it throttle and, and it goes. Honestly, it feels good. I mean, it feels like the car wants to go and it has enough passing power. And like I said, you'll never know that the car has 60 pound injectors, but the tune is actually for 39 pound injectors. So, really interesting. Take this video with the iPhone, and uh, it, it just, just runs good. It has enough passing power. So, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, the reason why my line, my fuel, by the way, that was my fuel line came undone and it started spilling fuel all over my engine bay thankfully this engine was cold but if it would have been hot it would have really it could have really caught fire and that would have been it but learn from my mistakes and like I, when i always talk about paying attention to the small details is because of those things and i fell a victim to that safety clip because when this line the fuel line pressurize see this this is all the difference guys right there this thing came undone I mean I never put it this line got pressure and that's it it came undone it started spilling fuel all over the engine bay so it's a must to really pay attention to all the details but other than that um, it's honestly it's been good it's been a smooth selling putting everything back together obviously I use a lot of the videos that I took uh, I use went back and did some research and, and I had paper printed out and you know things that helped me really make this process a lot easier so I had a little hiccup and it had nothing to do with the blower it was actually with this um, water box 
you know the water tank for the supercharger and that was that the line that goes I guess the return to the supercharger lines that return it was rotten so I had to cut a little bit of it and it wouldn't honestly connect so I had to make I went to Home Depot and it was honestly a struggle I had to create an L like a PCV uh, PVC I'm sorry PVC um, connector an L and then I had to learn how to glue all that and just to make it go down and actually connect I don't know if you guys could see it down there I'm gonna show you some pictures but that was a little bit of a headache just because water was spelling out I know what you're thinking why you didn't remove that hose honestly that hose down there to remove it was gonna be a pain in the butt and I figured out I could become a little bit creative and make something custom made myself and, and make it work and so far that's what I did the car currently has 60 pound injectors as you can see it's um it's running still with the with the pulley tune not the updated tune so if you're new here I had a pulley um, supercharger pull it um, eaten and uh, that was imported obviously I had the stock injectors now I got 60 pound injectors I have a few other mods that I have not discussed on the channel but I'm gonna take the opportunity and discuss it with you guys today obviously I'm gonna need a tune for all these things to run properly but I have this car driving and it drives wonderful even with that with that tune obviously it's running a little bit rich so sometimes the computer the, the auto sensors it senses that so it throws my, uh, my RPMs a little bit um, up to over a thousand and, it, and then it comes down uh, trying to burn that extra fuel that these injectors are, are throwing into that motor so these are the pumps these are the DW I don't know how to pronounce this word not even gonna try to uh, 340 liters per hour at 40 psi E85 compatible uh, fuel pumps uh, like I said for 85 do I want to run E85? Honestly, I, I don't even know if I could with just pumps. I know it has injectors to do so, but um, to be honest, I truly don't care. If this car breaks a 500 mark on pump gas, 93, I'll be more more than, than happy. This car, last dyno with ice on the tank, it dyno 457 points, so almost 458 to the wheels so just having four five hundred to the wheels it will be really really uh, awesome so i also went ahead and bought a sct 2600 uh, airflow meter just because the blower that that um that math is just gonna see a lot more air and this one i believe is good up to 700 wheel horsepower on a road style blower so if i ever decided to swap the the blower which I already know how to and get a bigger blower you know I already have the supporting mods and so yeah I bought this obviously I have not installed it because if you if I remove the math then the car won't even probably uh, it probably won't even start with the cost with the current tone that it has so this I'm gonna put in uh, on dyno day so I'm gonna do that I also bought an X4 for the car so this is gonna mount into the car, so we could have some data logging uh, capabilities on the uh, on the Cobra and run custom tunes and all the good stuff. So those are the mods that I have not installed on the car. You can see right there, pumps and uh, and X4 the pumps are going on next, and then it will be honestly Dino Day, which I cannot wait to do this and you know to just see what it puts down I'm so excited uh, if you guys are new consider subscribing and yeah that's um let's see what she puts down